three point charges lie along the x axis as shown a positive charge q1 which has a charge of 15 micro coulomb is at x equals 2 meter and a positive charge q2 and that has a, a charge of 6 micro coulomb is at the origin where must a negative charge q3 be placed on the x axis such that the resulting electric force on it is zero okay so here see it's more simple for us as in the direction as in the figure they've given us the directions too so all we need to find is just um, you know find the forces f23 and f13 we needn't show the directions as it is already shown here let us find f23 f23 will be k q2 q3 by q f23 right so what is the distance here x by x square that is k q2 is 6 micro coulomb 6 into 10 raised to minus 6 into q3 by x square next we have to find for f13 f13 which is k q1 q3 by f13 the distance is 2 minus x the whole square which is k into q1 15 into 10 raised to minus 6 into q3 by 2 minus x the whole square now here f23 and f13 see they are acting in opposite directions right so let me write f13 and f23 are acting in the opposite in the opposite direction so we must subtract if it was in the same direction we must uh, we must add them here they are in the opposite direction so we must subtract that is f 2 3 minus f 1 3 equals 0 why f 2 3 minus f 1 3 is equal to 0 because see the resulting electric force they want it to be 0 so they want it to be at 0 means it must be at equilibrium okay it must be at equilibrium it is also right if you subtract f13 minus f23 because last at last both of these forces will come out equal this is how we are going to get so even if you do f13 minus f23 equal to 0 it is correct there is nothing wrong in it let us substitute f23 is k into 6 into 10 raised to minus 6 into q3 by x square equals k into 15 into 10 raised to minus 6 into q3 by x minus 2 the whole square sorry 2 minus x the whole square it is two minus x the whole square now what all will get cancelled here k k will get cancelled 10 raised to minus 6 10 raised to minus 6 q3 q3 you need in you even it is also okay if you didn't if you don't convert it to coulomb okay because at last both of these will get cancelled then here both of them will go in three stable three twos are six three fives are fifteen so last it is two by x square equals five by two minus x d whole square now what i'm going to do is i'm going to take taking square root and cross multiplying taking square root and cross multiplying 
what do we get root 2 by x equals root 5 by 2 minus x that is root 5x is equal to 2 root 2 minus root 2x okay I will write it here Now here root 5x plus root 2x is equal to 2 root 2. Root 5, the value of root 5 is, wait, here before that we need to bring all the x variables together. That is root 5x plus root 2x is equal to 2 root 2. Now here root 5 has a value of 2.23. So 2.23x plus 1.41x is equal to 2 into 1.4 1 2.23 x plus 1.41 1 x is 3.64 x that is equal to 2.82 from here x is 2.82 by 3.64 and here it is 0 0.77 meter so x is 0 0.77 meter so we can write that the negative charge must be placed at a distance of 0 0.77 meter from Q2 charge. From Q2 charge, we must place the negative charge at a distance of 0 0.77 meter. Okay, this is the correct answer to this question. So, I hope if it was uh, clear to you. If you have any questions or if you have any doubts, please put your questions and queries in the comment section. I will surely answer it for you. Okay. So, hope it was clear for you all. Thank you for listening. And till then, bye-bye.